Hey guys, geek into everyone. On this video, I'm gonna tell you about virtual environment. So, if you don't know what is the virtual environment, how to install, activate, and use it, you have to watch this video because on this video, I'm gonna show you how to use virtual environment on basic real examples. So, let's start. I'm gonna start saying several words about Python programming language. The Python programming language is the one of the most popular programming language. By developing any project, you can download third-part packages in the internet and use them. Imagine if you have some projects on your operational system and this project need competing or incomparable version of same packages. What you have to do in this way? Best way to handle this situation is using virtual environment. So, but what is the virtual environment? The virtual environment is the way how to have multiple parallel instances of Python interpreters, each with their own configuration and their own packages. On this video, I'm gonna say two most popular virtual environment tools. First one is the VENF and second one is the virtual ENF. So let's start with the VENF. VENF is a native Python virtual environment tooling. It only works with the Python 3. So VENF is a built-in into the Python 3 interpreter. If you have a lower version, you can use virtual env, but if you have Python 3, you can use venv. And if you want to use venv, you have to run several commands. But before running venv, you have to check that you have Python 3 and check the version, check the location of your Python interpreter. Before deploying a virtual environment, you have to find the location where you want to deploy virtual environment. I'm gonna create a new directory. I'm gonna call this directory vert. You can call this directory how you want. Okay. In my current working directory, there is a directory word where I'm gonna deploy virtual environment. So to deploy and use venv tool, you have to type Python 3 minus m venv, and then you have to specify the directory where you want to deploy virtual environment, like that. So press enter. Now, if you check what is the inside directory word, you know, we created recently, it was empty, but now there are some directories and some files. To activate the virtual environment, you have to type source, then the directory when you, where you deploy the virtual environment, then bin, and then activate file, so press enter, and we dropped into virtual environment. So now we are into virtual environment. So everything you perform here, for example, if you want to use pip to install some packages, it's gonna be only within this virtual environment. So let's check it out how it works. Firstly, if you type which Python, you can see Python interpreter located into word bin in our virtual environment. And if you want to install third part package using pip, you can type pip install and I'm gonna install keras package, so press enter, install, okay. Okay, it's successfully installed. And if you type pip list, 
and check by this command you can see a list of packages you have and Keras is included but if you open another terminal you know you are not in the virtual environment here and you can check pip list and then grab Keras you see there is no packages Keras so that means we installed this package only in the virtual environments so if you want to deactivate the virtual environment you can just simply type deactivate and like that you dropped into your acronym user let's clear the terminal and you can remove the directory word if you want of course like that. By the way, if you don't want to remove a directory where you deploy the virtual environment, of course you can use this virtual environment and activate later. So let's clear the terminal. Second tool, what I want to say on this video is the virtual env. Compared with the venv, you can use virtual env with the different Python versions. That means not only the, the Python 3. If you have Python 2, you can use virtual env. Virtual env is not a built-in tool, so you have to install it from repo. You can do this by pip, sudo pip install virtual env. I already install virtual env, but you can do it by yourself. If you want to deploy virtual environment by virtual env tool, firstly, let's create a directory when we want to deploy virtual environment. I'm gonna type mkdir and I'm gonna call this directory vert1. So vert1 is the empty directory, as you see. Firstly, you have to deploy virtual environment into this directory virtual env and then you have to specify the directory when you want to deploy virtual environment. So press enter. Okay. As you see, there are some files created and some directories. To activate the virtual environment, you have to use same command as we used with venv, it's command source, then you have to specify word bin activate and press enter. As you see, we dropped into virtual environment. And if you open a new terminal instance, you can see there is a not virtual environment. Virtual environment is just for one terminal instance. And you can check the location of Python interpreter. You can do whatever you want within this private virtual environment. But if you are thinking between virtual env and venv, I recommend to use virtual env because you can use it with a different Python versions and it's a little bit faster than Venv. So, thanks guys for watching this video. I hope you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Ciao, ciao.